In this video, I'll be showing you this. It's the NEF B57CR23NOB single oven, or the sister model, the B57CR22NOB. And what I want to do today is just to show you around the oven, sort of how it works, and really why it's one of the best selling ovens at the moment in the UK. Now, one of the main attractions for this oven is when you open the door, you will see that it has something called a slide and hide door. And what that will do is it will fold down and then it goes underneath the oven itself. And that is a huge advantage. I'll just show you that again. So that when you pull the, the handle, and just to note, on this one, it has something called a rotating handle, so that the handle is always at the front. On some of the cheaper models in the NEF range, the handle is actually fixed at the front, so that when you pull it down, it's not quite so easy. But on this one, it's rotating, so it's always at the front, which is a really good design. And basically what happens is you can just let it go, so you don't even have to take it in. It's got the soft close on it. So before I show you inside the oven, I just wanted to show you the display itself. And when you first get it connected, it brings up the menu here. This is a two and a half inch uh, TFT display. And it's using this toggle control. And as I say, when you first get it connected, it's asking you to select the language. And what you can do is you can use the up and down. So we do want English. And then you can set the clock on it. So let's just set it for 10 past 12. Then you can set the, the date. And that's, uh, that's easy to do. And then the month. And then you've got the year. So once you've got everything set up on the oven, as far as the date and time, etc, then you can start to move through the different menus and to see what you've got on offer. And first of all, I'll show you the, the different types of heating. And th there's quite a few different options in here, and I'll just briefly go through them. So you've got the Sercotherm, and this is something that Neff use. Um, basically, this is to do with the fan oven. So it's providing a nice even heat throughout the oven. And what you can do is you just move up and down again using this toggle switch and you just select the temperature that you want. So if you want 200 degrees and then you press the start button. We'll just pause that for a moment. And what it will do when it gets up to temperature then it'll let you know. Uh, hopefully you can see just in the oven the, the lights on there. Uh, but what you can do is you've got the other options, top and bottom heating. You've got this circo roasting, the pizza setting, uh, bread baking. You've got the grill, the small grill, just the bottom heat. Slow cook, which is good if you want to do, say, a large joint. And if you want it to be, to cook it over a long time. You've got the dough proving, so that's at quite a low temperature, about 40 degrees. And then it goes back to the beginning. But there's a lot of different options in there. And really they are extremely easy to use. And what you can do is you can press the information button. So if you're not too sure what that does, then just press that button. And that will explain for each one what it does. So that's... Uh, baking and roasting on one level, particularly suitable for cakes with a moist topping. So if your cake's got a moist topping, then that's the one to use. Um, so if you're doing the bread baking, then that's for baking at high temperatures. And what you can do at any of these points, if you want to go back to the beginning, just press the home button, and then it goes back to that part there. And Another beauty of this oven, and really a really, really good selling feature on it, is the self-cleaning side. And this is called pyrolytic cleaning. And what this basically does, I'll show you the inside of the oven in a moment, but what this will do is it will take the oven up to around 480 degrees. 
if they say I'm about 480 to 500 but what it will do is it will actually lock the door and you do have to make sure you take everything out inside inside the oven but it will lock the door take up to about 480 degrees and burn off any of the residue or fat or any spillages that are inside the oven and at the end of the program it will leave a uh, basically a, a lot of ash at the bottom and all you need to do is just clear that up and then the oven is clean and you will see if you do select the self-cleaning program there is not a quick program uh, there are three different levels the maximum can take around two hours and yeah start off about an hour and a quarter so probably depending on how dirty the oven is if it was a really dirty one then it can take a couple of hours so you need to make sure that when you do this that you don't need to use the oven for a bit and uh, what you will find at the end of the program it will still need to cool as well so that can take some time so you, I'd recommend you need to uh, allow about three hours to do the full cleaning program. So one of the last things to show you on the front display is this. This is where you've got the timer. So if you want it to either set a minute minder or you can set a timer for the oven to uh, come on or go off, then this is where you would do it. And that's really the, the display on the front. Hopefully being able to see that. I know it's a, a gloss black finish, so it might be reflecting a little bit. But that's where you've got the on and off button there. So that when it's off, then it's showing quite a, a nice little display. So it shows the time and the date. So just to show you inside the oven. And it is a 71 litre capacity. And on this model, the B57CR23 NOB, you have these two wire shelves and you have this, which is using sliding shelves. And this really is a huge advantage because when you combine it with the slide and hide door, especially if it's at this level or even a bit lower, then what you'll find is if you've got a big roasting joint on here and if you needed to add the potatoes or baste it, then it makes it so much easier coming out on these rails. This is one of the main differences between this and the CR22 NOB. So on the more basic model, the 22, it just comes with three of these shelves whereas on the 23 it comes with this. So personally I'd recommend looking out for this model and what you'll find is that the price difference, it, there's not normally a lot in it. If you decided then what you can do is you can get extra shelves of these. I'll just show you underneath the rack. That rack just comes off and with these sliders you can actually get extra ones so if you wanted to replace some of these then you can do to really make life easier. As I say inside you have got a light and I won't show you at the moment but to replace the light it's very easy you just unscrew this at the top here and then the bulb is e easily accessible. The other quick thing to note is that I mentioned about the pyrolytic cleaning which is a fantastic feature. What you do need to do is you need to take everything out before you do that and clearly you take the shelves out and all these racks to take these side parts out, all you'd normally do is lift them and then they pull out to the side. So that it's, it's very easy to do, but yeah, we do recommend taking those out before you do any of the cleaning functions. One of the last things to show you is the energy rating on this. Now, I know for a lot of people, when you're buying an oven, it's not the highest priority, but it is always important to note that on this one, it is an A plus energy rating. So basically that means that it is very energy efficient. If you are thinking of purchasing one of these ovens, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you've enjoyed this quick video on the NEF B57CR23 or 22NOB single oven. Please give us a thumbs up on the YouTube video and leave any comments below. Thanks very much.